We all feel tired from time to time. But after a good night's sleep, most feel ready to face a new day. If the fatigue lasts for weeks, we should consult a doctor to find out what is causing the fatigue. He or she may recommend that we become more active, which, paradoxically, can reduce fatigue and improve quality of life. But let's not get ahead of ourselves before we see the solutions. Let's know a little more about the possible causes. Sometimes fatigue can be the first warning sign that something is wrong with the body. It is known, for example, that people with rheumatoid arthritis often complain of fatigue, as do people with cancer, in this case, because of the disease itself, because of the treatment, or both. As we can see, a disease, or its treatment, can cause fatigue. Let's review them. Sleep apnea and other sleep disorders, anemia, infections, pain that is not being treated, and diseases like fibromyalgia. Certain medications to treat pain, or nausea, as well as some antidepressants and antihistamines, some treatments such as chemotherapy or radiation. Recovery after major surgery. Chronic diseases such as the already mentioned rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease, thyroid disease, or COPD, that is, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Knowing what causes fatigue is the first step to solving it, right? But the cause can be even more subtle and difficult to recognize. Fear of the future, anxiety about one's own deteriorating health, and who will take care of us, even the fact that we no longer care about others, can take its toll on us and drain our energies. It is known that anxiety, depression, grief over the loss of family and friends, stress over financial or personal problems, or the feeling of losing control of one's life can leave us exhausted. It is easy to understand that all of these problems can take away our sleep, and consequently, fatigue can set in. Regular physical exercise can improve sleep. On the one hand, it reduces feelings of depression and stress, and on the other hand, it lifts spirits and increases general well-being. Alternatives include yoga, meditation, or cognitive behavioral therapy. And of course, if we cannot regulate ourselves, we may be able to do so with the help of our doctor. Sometimes it's us, with our lifestyle, who may be getting tired. Did we go to bed too late? Did we go to bed at approximately the same time? Because if we have bad sleeping habits, it can hardly be remedial, right? What about the caffeine? Having too much, and especially around nightfall, compromises a rest. And beware, tea also has caffeine, which is theine. And the alcohol? We know that alcohol alters our behavior, and it interacts with almost any medication. So, as always, moderation and control is what will best suit us. Is our food really nutritious? Because if it doesn't give us the energy we need, both in form and quantity, we will have a problem. For example, if we overuse fast-absorbing carbohydrates, it is easy for our energy to decline within a few hours of eating. Didn't we practice any exercises? Or maybe we practiced too much? Again, moderation is our best ally. Are we bored? It may seem strange, but boredom can make one feel tired.
If a person has had a very absorbing occupation during his active years, when he retires he may feel disoriented and have no idea how to occupy his long days with no plans in sight. But it doesn't have to be that way. Participating in social and productive activities can be the answer. It's a matter of thinking about one's qualities, what we know and what skills we have, what interests us, and channeling those energies into volunteer activities, for example. Before turning to medicine, how about trying some lifestyle changes? Once again we will insist on the benefits of regular exercise. In this channel we have even made a playlist, and the common denominator is that it is suitable for almost any age and physical condition. Even so, if one has doubts, one can always consult with the doctor about whether there is any activity that should be avoided. But it's worth taking this step, if you haven't already, because you can improve your appetite, your mood, and your vitality especially with exercises that combine balance and breathing such as yoga or tai chi. Naps lasting more than half an hour should be avoided, especially late in the day, as they are disruptive and make it difficult to sleep at night. Quitting smoking is a very interesting strategy, because it is related to many diseases and disorders, such as cancer, heart disease and respiratory problems, and all of them take away our vitality. Ask for help when needed. Many of us are overloaded with obligations, to the point that just thinking about schedules and homework is tiring. Delegating and sharing the burden will ease the fatigue, while making it shorter and more pleasant. If after applying these ideas for a few weeks you have not achieved any relief, it is time to visit the doctor. He or she will ask you questions about sleep, daily activities, appetite, and exercise, and may perform a physical exam and order some blood tests. The treatment will be established on the basis of the medical history and laboratory results. You may prescribe medication to treat underlying health problems, such as anemia or inconsistent thyroid activity. Or you may focus on providing guidelines for a well-balanced diet, along with an exercise program. It must be said that, apart from the fatigue described, there is chronic fatigue syndrome CFS, also known as myalgic encephalomyelitis, ME. This is a condition in which the fatigue lasts six months or more and is not associated with other diseases. People with the syndrome experience symptoms that make basic activities such as dressing or bathing difficult. This fatigue does not subside with rest and can lead to difficulty sleeping, memory and concentration problems, as well as pain, dizziness, sore throat and tender lymph nodes. Unfortunately, there is no cure, nor is there any approved treatment for chronic fatigue syndrome at the time of this video. The way to deal with it is basically to take into account what we have said, and if you want more information, I leave some link in the description. That's all for today. Thank you very much. And until the next video.